What's up you guys, it's Amber at Amber's Closet and today we're gonna do something completely different. I haven't felt like I've been able to talk to you guys for a minute since my Q&As and in those Q&As I answered a lot of questions that had to do with you know, self-confidence, motivation, having the right mindset in life and things like that and I answered them very quickly in the Q&A. But I got a huge response from a lot of you guys wanting me to you know, maximize and talk about those a little bit more and a little bit in length. So this is what this is right here. The first video what I wanna do is talk about having the right mindset, how to live life to the fullest and put yourself first. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a person that has a problem with that. Now, before I get into anything, let me tell you guys how I viewed life previously and how I want to change that going forward and what things that I'm going to use to be able to do that going forward. Usually I think about life as a big plate of nachos, right? Think about it though, you get all this stuff all over and you know, it could be a little bit inconsistent because some chips could be, you know, better than others. The type of person that I always was, was I'm trying to save the best chips for last. But what always ended up happening to me, whether it was in my control or not, somebody came in and usually got those best chips from me. I know, it's it could be really sad, but at the same time, whether it was out of my control or whether I loved them, I allowed it to happen. So that was problem number one. Problem number two is realizing that I deserve to have those best bites and that I don't have to keep pushing them off because life is not guaranteed. I don't know if I'm gonna even be up or wake up tomorrow to even enjoy those chips, so why wouldn't I enjoy the best ones now? At the end of the day, who was missing out? Me. I was the one that's missing out on the best parts of my plate of nachos, right? I didn't get the best chips. So that was the first thing that I had to realize, right? The other thing is realizing that I'm allowed to be a little bit selfish and put myself first. And in that process, I had to realize that I had to switch my priorities around and put myself at the top of the list of being a priority in my own life because that was another problem of mine. I always thought of being a little bit selfish as a negative thing, but you kind of have to be a little bit selfish to put yourself first and make sure you block out other things that might take you away from those dreams and those goals that you have for yourself. But I'm gonna help you try to get that problem solved. Of course, the first thing is like, I wanna live life. What do I wanna do by living life? What would make me happy? And writing down different things or just putting it in your head of the things that would make you happy, right? Those things for me were traveling and surrounding myself with friends and going to do things that I would hold myself back from because of other factors around that I was putting as priority over myself when I could have done those things. I'm completely stepping out of the box at all times. I try a lot of different things. But if you're not that type of person, that's one thing that I would say right away is that you need to be able to, you know, live life a little bit and step outside of the box and step outside of your comfort zone. I know I said this in a past video before, but it's so true. Because a lot of us get so comfortable that we just feel like our dreams are not attainable, but we don't realize how attainable they actually are. So for myself, I was always like, I wanna travel, I wanna travel. I wanna travel one day. So one day I realized, why don't I just travel tomorrow? Like, it doesn't make sense. And we have to put ourselves in the right path in order to reach those. Sometimes you have to get to the point where you almost have to change yourself in order to allow these things to happen because if you're so used to one thing, that's what your mindset is and it's gonna be a little bit hard to change that, so it's almost a learning process for yourself. You have to take your experiences and realize that everything that you went through, good or bad, is a growing process. And in that, you have to learn affirmations. So with affirmations, what it does is give you a positive outlook on life in general. And it allows you to look at all the obstacles in your life as opportunities. So when you have those affirmations for yourself, you feel like, oh, I can overcome anything. And things don't stress you out as much because now you're more in control with everything that's coming towards you. Because guess what now? I eat all the best chips first. First. Now what my goal is in life is, I wanna eat all the best chips first and now I wanna make sure that all my chips and my bites afterward are just as good as the first. So now I bust my butt to make sure that every day with life is great and that I'm staying on this path of life to just be a happy person. Because honestly, stressing and not being happy is the worst thing ever and I can't take it. I don't know if you guys can take it, but it's just not good. Take life as a plate of nachos and learn from your experiences and learn how to put yourself first and love yourself enough to do these things to put yourself first, you're gonna be good. 
that was the first of this series because I think that that's the best way to start this off by having the right mindset for yourself and then all these other things that I might talk about all these other topics will make sense with these things right here If you guys have any topics in this realm of motivation or self-confidence or self-love that you guys would like me to key in on please put those down below because I want to make sure that I touch on all of those things that are important to you guys or that you guys might need to hear because I'm here for you guys you guys already know that you feel me so eat the damn first bite of nachos and be happy with it and live life to the fullest you guys anyways I have some extra bonus videos coming out this week for you guys and then I'll see you guys next week with some challenges and things like that all right I love you guys so much and I will see you soon peace I want my nachos to be like carne asada fries those are hella bomb